What's going on everyone? I've got a fun topic today, how to make a million dollars. And so I know this is uh, almost clickbaity, uh, but I want to uh, go over it mostly because it's like one of the number one questions I get all the time. And so we might as well actually break down the math for you. And so the number one way that I know that someone has no chance in actually doing this is they don't even know the math behind how to accomplish their goals, right? And so that's what we're gonna break down today. All right, so the first thing is, you have to know how many units of whatever it is you're selling to get to your goal, right? And the question is, do you wanna make a million dollars in revenue or do you wanna make a million dollars in take home income? Mind you, to be in the top 1% in America, it's $400,000 a year, all right? And so let's say you have a business that runs 40% net margins, which mind you is very good. Um, if you run 40% net margins, that means if you made a million dollars in revenue, you would make $400,000 a year in net profit, where you get to take owner pay, right? From your business, which is why, by the way, I think that having a job that pays well is very underrated. I think it's just, if I'm being realistic, if you look at the odds, I think it's far, far, far more likely that you can achieve a six-figure or multi-six-figure income um, fast by having a really high-paying job because you've acquired a skill than trying to learn basically all the skills and own your own business. I'm just being candid. And I think that if I knew the amount of risk that I was taking on when I started business, I don't know if I would have done it again. Um, and I think that I had an atypical entrepreneurial journey because I wasn't really an entrepreneurial personality type. I just really hated my job enough that I was going to do anything. Um, but that, and so that's what started it. But let's get to the, let's get to the meat and the potatoes. All right. So a lot of times people haven't even figured out their price points on things yet. And so the easiest way to understand this is that if you have a million dollars a year, which is what you want to make, then you want to break this down, right? So a million dollars a year is going to be 83K per month, all right? Roughly, right? It's 83, 333, whatever. You could say 84K, but 83K per month, all right? That's what you have to make in uh, revenue, right? Now, if you break it down per day, I think it's 33333, I think, um, per day. But if you, if you do it per week, so let's just break this into weekly, uh, it would be like, let's just say 21K, okay? So 21K per week, all right? And you'll notice I'm gonna keep breaking this down because it's really difficult to hit fuzzy targets, right? I heard this from Jason Flatland. Fuzzy targets don't get hit, right? So we need to make this a very precise, clean, pristine target. All right, so we got a million dollars a year, breaks down to 83K per month, 21K uh, per week, excuse me, 21K per week. And then from there, <clears throat> you know, seven seven days would be about 3K plus per day, right? So so that's, that's how we know how we can get to that number. Now, I like weeks because weeks are like normal cycles. Daily can be a little bit too volatile until you get to like 10, you know, uh, 10 million plus per year. Um, and so if we're, if we're talking starting out, right, 21K per week, all right? So the thing is, is we just have to know what the lifetime value of our customer is. And so let's say you're selling a single product that has no upsells, all right, which is pretty common. Um, a single product that has no upsells, let's say your LTV is $1,000, okay? Now, I wanna be really clear about this. You don't have to sell a thousand dollar widget for this, for the math that I'm about to share with you to make sense. All right. It just means that your total lifetime value of a customer is a thousand dollars. Like Starbucks, I think their LTV is like $8,000 and you're like, holy cow. Well, think about how many times you purchased a Starbucks over the last, you know, 10 years, right? It adds up. And so for me, I'll give you a couple of different examples of what a thousand dollar LTV might be. If I sold a course for a thousand dollars and I sold nothing else, that would be a thousand dollar LTV. If I sold a hundred dollar a month gym membership and the person on average stays 10 months, that would be a thousand dollar LTV. If I sold, uh, let's say, ah, crap. If I sold uh, uh, skincare products, right? And the average order value was, you know, $250 and the average amount of time that someone stayed on my cream products was four months, $1,000 is my LTV, okay? So these are all different ways of achieving a $1,000 LTV, which makes this hopefully a little bit simpler. Now, if I have to get to a million dollars, then I need to sell 21 units per week, right? And so that would be 21 divided by 1,000, which is 21, right? Units per week to hit our goal. And so if I know that I only really sell five days a week, Monday through Friday, right? Then it means I gotta sell four or maybe five. I'd probably make five my goal, so I overshoot it a little bit. So I gotta sell five deals a day, right? And if I have five deals a day, and the nice thing is with this process that I'm walking you through right now, like you can add as many zeros as you want. It works the same way, right? You can add zeros to your product, zeros to your goal, like everything works the same way. So it's five deals a day is what I have to close. Now, the thing is, is I may know my math, right? And know that five deals a day, we close, let's say one out of three deal, one out of three phone calls, which means I'm gonna do 15 phone calls a day who show up, right? And now if I'm selling products, then it might be uh, based on site conversion. So if I have like, you know, 1% conversion on my store, uh, an e-commerce store, for example, then I would need 100 times the amount of sales I need, right? So if I need five, quote, sales per day with an, uh, 
the lifetime value of a thousand and I know that it takes a hundred clicks to get one purchase, then I need 500 clicks a day. Hopefully that makes sense here. But I'm just walking through a more, a more service-based sale because it was top of mind. All right, so 15 calls, right, per day. And let's say that I know my show up rate on these calls is you know 66%, so I'd have 22 set appointments per day, right? And the thing is, is I know that based on my either outreach efforts, it takes, let's say, I don't know, 50 outreach efforts to get one appointment. I need a thousand outreach efforts a day, right? Now, mind you, a thousand dollar deal would not be worth any kind of effort like that. So, I, cause this is way, way too low to have kind of like a hand to hand combat uh, sale type, type, type system. Um, this would probably need to be closer to like $10,000. Um, and then there you go, you get your 10 million. <laughs> but, but I'm using this just to illustrate uh, like the different ways to get there, right? And so um, a nice thing to think about this is that if you, if you take out, if you take this little number here, your deal size, right? And you put that as the main variable for this process, right? You could either sell, you know, nine 10K deals per month and have a million dollar business. Wow, right? You could sell, one 100k deal per month to have a million dollar business that sounds pretty chill you could also sell a hundred well roughly you know 83 right 1k deals per month that sounds a little harder right or if you have hundred dollar widgets you got to sell god 830 right or 33 whatever it is times a hundred dollars per per month to hit that 83 K right and so you can kind of see how much harder it gets the lower the price is like it's it's hard to sell 833 things every month I'll, I mean that's that's a lot of work right and honestly it's hard to sell 83 things a month selling nine easier right and so it's been it, this is just the conclusion that I've made throughout my life um, is that especially when you're starting out I think it's easier to start with premium things as in like it's easier to just over deliver like crazy for a client rather than trying to think about like how do I make this scalable? It's like, you don't need to worry about that yet. Like you need to just start making money, right? And so it's like, how can I just, how can I, how can I find a sweet spot in here, right? This like 5,000, 10,000, $15,000 mark. How can I find a sweet spot in here where I can just provide tremendous value to someone um, that they will want to continue to do services with me and I don't have to have a tremendous amount of operational skill. Because the reason that this is so hard for people, this $100 a month or even $10 a month range, is it's the operations behind it. You have to be able to support so much volume uh, that you're very good with people. And that's a totally different skill than learning how to market and sell and acquire customers. And so this is where I think most people kind of run into trouble and why a lot of people who end up making more money earlier kind of focus on this on this upper side of the ladder. Um, there's a very, very, very few exceptions of people who uh, make a lot of money, like super, super rare, make a lot of money below this $1,000 um, you know, per unit price tag, right? Like you have to find a way to get your LTV higher because it's just too hard. Like acquiring customers is just too difficult to not have a high LTV. And like, like I said, Starbucks, right? 8,000 LTV. So it doesn't have to be your ticket price that has to be low. It's just like you have to find ways to make customers worth more, right? Unique, expensive, sticky air, if you remember that from before. Habit forming, something that they're gonna to continue to come back again and again and again. So anyhow, how to make a million dollars. I think most people do not do this math on this, which is you gotta make $21,000 a week, and then there's a zillion ways to make $21,000 a week, right? You can sell $100 units, you can sell $1,000 units, you can sell $10,000 units, you can sell $100,000 units. Um, but at the end of the day, that is how you do it. And if you're thinking about this from a sales professional standpoint, so I'm, I'll break this down for you guys as a bonus, because I know a lot of salespeople will follow our stuff. Um, make this, whatever your product is, your commission. Right, so if you want to make a million dollars deal as a salesperson, right, then you're gonna to need to sell like, and let's say you get a thousand dollar commission, then you need to sell 83 units a month of your thing, right? And that may sound crazy, and that it is because that's why you know, that's why the top one percent is you know half of that <laughs> um, in terms of income, right? And so, uh, but if you can if you can figure out that a thousand dollars, you know, if you can get your like you should be able to think in your mind like this is my income goal as a salesperson, this is what I would like to make, is the amount of calls you know, or calls taken required to hit this goal uh, reasonable, right? Because on some level, every, every position has a cap based on time, right? How much, how much time you could allocate, right? There's only 24 hours in a day. And so, anywho, reverse the math on your own business and your own uh, products that you're selling. And a lot of times this will help you get your goals a lot faster. So anyway, keeping awesome, lots of love, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.